my name's Jody King. I am a commercial shell fisherman. I have been cohogging, bull raking, shell fishing for over 25 years. So we try and get out there before the sun because the regulation is sunrise to sunset. This morning I was in Barrington Beach in 19 feet of water with about 51 feet of aluminum pipe attached to a rake this big and a handle on the other end and I poured through the bottom and caught 700 necks before I came here this morning. This bay is 10 times cleaner than it was 15 years ago, 20 times cleaner than it was 20 years ago. And when you catch cohogs, if you find small ones, I would love for you to put them through the ring. Anything that falls through the ring, throw it back in the water. That's an undersized, that's a juvenile, that's a baby. Uh, one inch at the hinge is the minimum size that we can take home. These are made out of the same thing that canes and baseball bats are made out of, ash. They are generally very strong. And what you will generally do is just settle this into the bottom so that the teeth go down. These are long teeth, they're three and a half inches long. You want the teeth in the bottom. You're not gonna catch, you're not gonna catch a thing unless those teeth are in the bottom. And you go back and forth, and I call it softening up the bottom. And you just soften the bottom up and jerk the rake and walk back at the same time. And you will eventually hear something pop into the rake. It's either gonna be a quag or a rock. Um, when you think you have something in it, walk up to it. This is grass, I can't do it. <laughs> Turn it over like this and shake it under water. The sand, gravel, and everything else should come out, come out of the rake through these holes. What should be left is rocks or quahogs. One of my pieces of advice is this is a beach. Walk as far away from the beach as humanly possible. That's where the clams are. I'm gonna cook one of my, fa my father's favorite recipes. It's the easiest thing in the world. Put your quahogs in a big pan. I like to do this the night before so that all these ingredients have to marry or can get married together, real easy. Olive oil, garlic, basil, crushed red pepper. Pour it right on top. And before you turn it on, give it a good shake. Just to get all those ingredients on every quahog. Put it on high, leave it alone. Okay, about 10 minutes into this, you don't even take the top off again. Don't burn the towel. Shake it again. It's steaming pretty good. Now what happens is the ones on the bottom are hot and the ones on the top are not. So you're trying to just shake them around. 